Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing Immortals Phoenix Rising. I am so excited. I could not wait to get my hands on this game again after the preview event that I did a little while back. The last video I did was more of a first impressions video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link to it in the cards and in the description. This video is gonna be a full on let's play, lots of gameplay, lots of goofs and laughs and takey take takes as is the strange rebel way. Uh, take a second to like the video before you begin as I thank Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. I am so grateful, I am so honored, and this game is amazing. So thank you for making it. Rebels, remember to support those who support the channel by clicking the link in the description below to learn more about Immortals Phoenix Rising. It launches December 3rd on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Nintendo Switch, and uh, the next-gen consoles as well if you were lucky enough to get a PS5 or the new Xbox. And now, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy. Hey, here we go. New game. So we'll be playing on normal, which is what I start all games on. Which means we enjoy both a good story and a good challenge. This is the intended level of difficulty for the game. Very exciting. They have story for people who just want to enjoy the story. Easy, hard, and nightmare, which is currently locked. But we'll play on normal. Oh, I'm so excited. I love, I love this. I love everything about this. Now remember, I've already done the first few hours. Beautiful Hera, Mother Divine, wisest Athena, mighty Poseidon, the Earthshaker, Celus Artemis with her deadly aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pain that pigs. All of them. I see you there. Come closer. Help me! Someone help! Someone! None of this is your fault. You're the victim. All the mortals are. Made in the bone workshop of fools. Jagged reflections from a broken mirror. Behold your god! This one killed six innocent children to satisfy her rage. They squabble, burn with jealousy, cheat, fight and murder. They're cruel. Vindictive and selfish, and let the heel of Achilles, these weaknesses will be there and weak. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow minded, coxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! What an intro, right? If you didn't know about oh, Greek I gods, you, you do Prometheus, now. My favorite cousin. You chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle out of love. Ah, uh -huh. you need my help. Typhon is free. Look at the constellation pattern allies, on their skin. The Titans convince him to stand down. It's not that simple. He is even blocking my ability to glimpse the future. I cannot see past him. Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! He took everything! Even the other gods are missing! Look to the mortals. That's done! Those evil, imbecilic, tasteless parasites were all turned to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables. 
and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption! Oh no, not one of your stories. How long is this going to... <laughs> my tale begins at sea. A ship of soldiers returning from a faraway battle. Their victory ambushed by an unexpected storm. The sea tossed and turned. Waves churned to a throng. The line between sky and sea all but vanished. The mountainous peaks of the waves descended into valleys nearly as deep as Tartarus. You're really painting a picture here. That's what a good it's storyteller not. does. Point is, the ship didn't stand a chance. At dawn, the sun rose on the few remaining survivors. The lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a- Wait, don't tell me. And here is our character creation screen. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, I love Phoenix as she is right now. We could make Phoenix a dude, Body just to see like, uh, this. And Zeus comments on Body like this. <laughs> whatever you choose. Uh, so for example Skin dark like olives. The good kind, not the green ones. Because apparently only black olives are good olives. Tan like me at the beach. <laughs> So I love Phoenix. I think she was about here-ish, right? Here, if we go back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got our we've got our female face body here, like and we're picking face her. I can see in my you know an ooh face. <laughs> an ooh face. A sharp. Bird. So I think I'm gonna keep this face, and even though she has brown eyes in the default, I eyes loved of fresh this one. Even though we do the have the option of an empty room to go with a few different colors here that are all very pretty. The color of the color. Of unripe grapefruit. But we love this, like, kind of grayish with a little bit of hazily on the inside kind of kind of eyes here. And then I personally just die for this ponytail look on her. I love the braids and uh, a waterfall on the cliffs of Santorini. Gorgeous. Yes, please. And we're going to keep her classic red hair. Do we want her a little bit more red? Just burn me. Ooh, I do like the darker red, but I think we're gonna stick with her kind of orangey red. We could go with a face tattoo. A little, little nose scar there. This one is a little side of eye scar, but I think I like her classic look just too much. I, I got attached to it. I can't help it. Uh, but eyebrows here, I think I remember doing a little eyebrow scar because I love a good eyebrow scar, personally. Uh, but I seem to remember... There being... A couple different styles, yeah. Ooh, it's tough. I think I like these eyebrows. And I think maybe her eyebrows could be a little bit darker. 
not that dark. The color of month old table wine. Yeah, we'll go with we'll go with the classic. We're we're loving the classic look has right now. A beard. And she definitely has a magnificent beard. No, she doesn't. Not in this game she doesn't, but if she did, we'd go with this one. <laughs> but she doesn't, she doesn't. Oh, and we get to pick her voice. The storm. Wake up. I have to wake up. So that seems a little bit like dude voice. The storm. Wake up. I have to wake up. So we're going to go with that one instead of the dude voice. Okay, we have our phoenix. I love her. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's perfection. I don't know. Wait, do I like a different face? I think that was the one from my preview that I chose. Even though I, I love them all, I think we're going to go with this one. I got very attached to the phoenix I designed from my preview event. You know, like in any game where there's like a very detailed, awesome character creator, and then you fall in love with the character and you can't imagine them looking any other way. That's that's what's happened to me. So I need to recreate my exact Phoenix from the preview event. Because hey, I love her. I see her. She's my best friend. Day. <clears throat> the lowest ranked among them, a shield bearer who dreamt of battle, but had seen nary a skirmish, a teller of tales, not a doer of deeds. Phoenix. What a name, Phoenix. Sounds like the sound a dumb bird makes when it lights itself on fire, which would be ridiculous. But yet. I should write that down. <laughs> Take note, up Zeus. On an unknown shore, Phoenix awoke. Like the only way off this beach is up that cliff. Then I suppose up that cliff we will go. We are playing this on the Nintendo Switch, which I'm very excited about because I feel like it is a perfect Switch game. So our first traversal here, climbing. And we have the introduction of the stamina as well. Don't want to get too tired because, well, that just won't be good. And here we have our little, like Zeus was talking about in the prologue, our, our human friend been turned to stone. So we're all alone here. Phoenix saw her captain and fellow soldiers in the distance. Through a trick of the light, she could almost see them waving and calling to her. Phoenix, again. You may not be your brother Ligiron, but I will make something of you yet. Hold my shield. Try not to drop it this time. I didn't see you there. Don't let them get to you. They're just jealous. It's not often someone has a brother like yours. So they're already Local setting ghost. up this Local underdog ghost. Can you hear me? theme. You've gone cold. What the magic is this? Legiron, where are you, brother? Unarmed and lost, Phoenix was vulnerable. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. So we know she's got this brother who apparently is a superstar and it's been hard for Phoenix to compare their whole lives. My brother's sword. No. She's just a shield bearer. Okay, 
Okay. I'm gonna press the right button this time, I swear. You've always been my hero, my North Star. I will bring you back. I swear it. So he got turned to stone, and then it looks like his stone legs fell off. So I don't really know what's gonna happen there. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword, a gift from Achilles for bravery and battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm, as if forged for it. Achilles' sword? Brother must have been good in... Battle. Is something wrong with your voice? I never got a sword. Just saying. Phoenix looked up. She was not alone. By the gods! Stay back! She readied her sword for her first real fight. First real fight, and guess what? We're crushing it, and then off he goes into the universe. Achilles' sword does great. Phoenix felt her training as you can come see. into focus. And then we have Y to dodge, which is excellent. Oh, we're getting both of them at the same time! Wow. We are good at this. I should be able to survey the land from up there. Noted. So off we go then. Up we go. Well, look. We have a statue here of someone holding the cane with the serpent. So I'm gonna venture a guess that we have some Hippocrates, as in the Hippocratic Oath. Could be wrong. But that's my guess. Now, I am so excited about the Greek mythology aspect this of this game. This is the largest statue of Hermes I've ever seen. I wonder who built it. Besieged by challenge, <sighs> totally alone, this young hero was determined to save her fellow soldiers and brother. Boring! Can we skip this part? No, this is important for the sense of atmosphere. So we've just... Taken our first take! One of many, many takes that I will take in this playthrough. Blue mushrooms, which uh, help us with our stamina when it's low. Uh, I was saying I'm so excited for the Greek mythology aspect of this because it's, it's interwoven in this game so well that it's, it's funny and even tales that you know, most people have heard over the course of their lives because Greek mythology is pretty common to study and, and hear about just kind of in popular culture. It's it's done so well that Hermes, it feels friend. unique and fresh again. It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. Well, they really don't appreciate the good story. So our girl Phoenix here loves a good story. This is why she's my best friend. I love her. I also love a good story. Take, take, take. And whatever you are, take you as well. Ooh, ambrosia. What is this? It smells like honey and the first day of spring and my first kiss all rolled into one. Phoenix got into the ambrosia too? Prometheus! Yes. You worried, Zeus, about losing this bet? Please, she can't use it anyway. Yet. All right, we did it. We made it to the top of 
The Hermes statue. Oh, I wonder, he's also got the staff, even though it doesn't have the, the snake. So I wonder if that down, that little guy down there wasn't Hippocrates and maybe it was also Hermes. Wow, okay, so we're up, we're up pretty high here and we can see a little bit, but it's kind of, kind of foggy right now. Let's scout out anyway. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle, and Typhon grows stronger by the hour. Don't toy with me, Prometheus. I swear to you that soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. That doesn't sound of great. Apollo. If it has an oracle or a seer, they could help me undo this curse. A griffin? But they aren't real! Let me go! Help! Hey! I'll save you! It's a pretty tall order for a storyteller. I'm coming! I need to find a way to reach that rift. Okay, while in Farsight, pay attention to the feedback received while looking at types of locations. You can reveal their icons permanently in Farsight. Pretty cool. Gonna be using this quite a bit. Oh, okay, so this is, you get a little bit of feedback on the controller. You reveal it. There's a chest over there. Oh my goodness. Reveal this. A big liar over there. What is he lying about? Can you hear me in there? I'm coming! I found your axe! Phoenix approached the axe, feeling it call to her. Looks like the axe of Atalanta. Must be a copy. Although... But before Phoenix could claim it, the axe was pulled into the pit by a terrible force. Uh, not me. <laughs> but... No one? <laughs> you think that old trick will work on me? Come into my parlor, said the Cyclops to the sailor. Into the parlor we go then, I suppose. Well, that's the end of Phoenix. <laughs> Perfectly passable storytelling. I won't lie, there were moments that dragged, but you really got me with that ending. Now, let's settle up. It's all created Time by Zeus. You to help me against Typhon. <laughs> Torture innovator! Pyromaniac! Oh, Prometheus did some things in these credits? I just love that. I just love everything about that. Because, I mean, in real life, if you just jump into random glowing pits... You're gonna die pretty quickly. Would be my guess. I don't know. I've never done it. What? What is this place? Passage in the abyss. Okay, can we talk about how gorgeous it is? Just everything from the like galaxy air that you're in. You've got these floating particles. You have this like incredible green glowy lamp that looks kind of creepy. I mean, just everything is super gorgeous. I... I just love Indeed. it here. What was this strange place? It's Tartarus. Just exactly where had Phoenix landed? Tartarus! The nasty <laughs> abyss where I imprisoned Typhon. He must have opened rifts into the vaults of the underworld when he escaped. You know it, I know it. Say it! Phoenix wasn't, uh, short. I hate you! <laughs> but aren't you intrigued? No! Keep going. Oh, wait, I want to look at this. Wow, look at this! So this is Typhon, imprisoned in Tartaros. Wow. Gorgeous. He broke his chains! And then, who painted that mural? Actually, this is a really good time for me to tell you all that... Even though all of the Greek marble 
that we see, you know, iconically in Greece today, all the ruins that are on the the Parthenon, the uh, the Acropolis, you know, that whole area. I was told when I studied abroad there that oftentimes these these temples were painted. And so even though it all looks white now, that's not how it looked at the time. And so this might be a little bit more accurate representation. It has the gold detailing. It has this green paint on it. It has artwork. I think that's really cool. You are either brave, little one, or very foolish. Let's see if you can meet my challenge, or if you will fall like all the others. Who are you? Hello? I'm just saying, I feel like most heroes meet in the intersection between brave and foolish. I feel like most heroes are a little bit of both. It's a very Gryffindor thing. A chest! And we will take... Yeah! How cute is she when she opens a chest with the tippy tapping? I love it. That, that's one of the things that I loved most in my preview was she opens the chest a different way almost every time. There's like, I saw I think maybe six or seven unique animations for her opening chests, which is such a small tiny detail, but obviously takes a lot of work and is so cute. There's so much personality. I love it. Oh, I could have taken the shortcut. I got distracted by how cute she is. I just love her. Anyways. Next time. Okay, now I think this is the one that opens up the front here. Yes. Good. All right. Don't mess this up, Brianna. Ah! Okay, we're good. Yee! Okay. And what do we have here? Take. What's this? Wings. Phoenix ran her hands over them, noticing that several pieces were missing. As if someone had ripped them apart. They seem to be man-made. I wonder how they work. If they even work. Broken wings acquired! Look at her eyes, she's so pretty. Okay, we got Whoa. ourselves some wings and a they double jump. They actually work. Sort of. Nice. Oh, take the this. Axe. Take. The axe of Atalanta, deadliest of hunters, swiftest of heroes, fallen at the hands of Typhon. Didn't I change her into a lion? You turned a lot of people into a lot of things. That is true. I need to stop drinking. <laughs> and now you fall. Okay. So, ZR is our axe attack. All right, no problem. And as you can see, the sword isn't working against our shieldy friend here. So what does is the axe attack. The axe attack is great for knocking the shield out of the way so we can get a combo in. Wow, we are so good at combat. You're still standing? I sent something more in you. So that tip just introduced the idea of stun gauges. So enemies have stun gauges, which is familiar to anybody who has been on my channel. Touch that, and what do we get? Ah, a little moving platform, a so to speak. My lightning. Scattered, hidden by Typhon. It's over! Phoenix is Helios Rush! No one can handle those bolts but me! Ah. Oh, really? Anyways, uh, that did not happen. Pretty sure. Oh, we're all the way back here! But we still have our wings, so it should be a little bit quicker to get through. 
Oh, but we do gotta watch our stamina, don't we? Okay. No problem. This time, we are gonna make that platform easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, turn that back on. Now, if you could just... If you could just come over here, that would be great. Thanks. Nope, I just need you to come back over here. Thanks. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm good at this game. It's always right after I brag about how awesome I am that I get dead. Always. All right, and now look at what we have here. These two statues of uh, human figures with bull heads, which, you know, are probably minotaurs, which is pretty cool. A replica of Zeus's lightning bolt? No way! <laughs> Power surged through Phoenix. It was too much for her to bear. <laughs> what? Happening to me. Bye bye, mortal. And then, what? just like that, it stopped. No! The wings grounded the lightning. They were designed to withstand storms. That shouldn't be possible. And yet, this is just the beginning. <gasps> She's so cute. She thinks everything she encounters is a replica. Come on. She's so cute. Having plunged into the abyss of Tartarus and living to tell the tale, Phoenix emerged victorious. For now? That stranger I was chasing, where did he go? With the wings, she would be able to flit across the ancient bridge and find out. I wouldn't just strap on discarded junk. Who knows where those have been? Many a night, Phoenix had told tales of a genius. An inventor named Daedalus and his extraordinary wings. Perhaps someone copied their design, Phoenix mused. So junk. Ooh, maybe it's cursed. Oh boy. Um, Gorgon? They're real. Yeah. What's that glimmering? Well, there's something glowing inside Maybe your tummy, Gorgon. Sneak it. Sneaking. No problem. Sneak slowly so that we can get that shiny whatever's in your tummy. Woo! I think we're gonna kill this before we end up stunning it. Woo! Yeah, we got the leg up on you with that stealth attack. Goodbye! It's the best. And what do we have here? These bracers. I've seen them in drawings. They can't be. Ah, but they were. Heracles, mightiest of mortals, slayer of beasts, defied Hera and accomplished the impossible wearing those bracers. And now, they belong to Phoenix. Through dumb luck. The stranger! Excuse me, everyone else has been turned to stone. Over here! Fight someone who's armed instead! Look how cute she is! She's like, I am strong! No, I didn't hear anything. Look at that turtle! Cute. So, Phoenix. After boldly besting the Gorgon that ambushed Heracles. What are you doing there? That thing with your voice? Heracles? Yeah, that. That is how it's supposed to be pronounced. Seems like a lot of work, but it's your funeral. Except I can't oh. die. Don't remind me. So, 
the joke there is that we in Western pop culture call him Hercules, but he his name really is Heracles. So they're just making a little little inside joke reference to that, which is I think is pretty funny. Okay, great. Into this we go. If he fell into that vault. I'll save you. I promise. She's got the heart of a hero, that phoenix. In we go. So let me get this straight. Instead of heating up the temple of Apollo to speak with the Oracle, Phoenix is hightailing it after this stranger? Phoenix, truly a good person, sought to help the mysterious stranger. But she never lost sight of the fact that she was getting ever closer to the temple of Apollo and the solution to the terrible curse inflicted upon her brother and fellow soldiers. Oh yes! Remind me to erase my own faults with narration. Zeus, truly a good person, murdered his first wife by getting her to turn into a fly and then ate her. Zeus. Wait, that's what happened to Metis? Zeus. I thought she was visiting her sister in Babylon. Oops. Come on, Zeus. We'll take that. Yes, we will. And then we will jump on top of it. And that will get us precisely as high as we need. Great. So we've unlocked, uh, I think a checkpoint is what that is. Great, moving on. What's our next puzzle here? Activate you. Okay, activate you. Let's just check behind us to make sure we got at least what we can see. Make sure we didn't really miss anything because once you complete a vault, like once you finish it to, to the end, it's locked and you can't ever come back. Which is kind of a bummer. Nope, we're gonna press the correct button here. And we're gonna put you where? We're gonna put you... Perish. Great. We're gonna put you... Perish. Oh, we've gotta make sure we actually get there. There we go. Wow, she can throw. Woohoo, we unlocked it. Excellent, okay, perfect. Great. Okay. What's next? The mark of Ithaca. Odysseus. Just a sweet backflip. It's fine. Very casual. Power requires more than deft footwork, little one. Let's see if you have control. Who are you? Show yourself! Control A. Well, I just acquired Apollo's arrows, and I will not be swinging my axe off the edge. I will be holding ZL to aim. Yes, I will. Good. Charged shot, hold. Oh, okay, so powerful. And then Apollo's arrow, hold R. And guess what? Drive it around town. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. It's a pretty cool ability, if I do say so myself. Gonna have a lot of fun with that one. Oop, not into that, sir. I mean, ma'am. We missed. Okay, I did say that I was good at this, and you know, maybe 
I exaggerated a little bit. It seemed easy enough to hit, but the third would require the focus of a master archer. Forget it. Kids today play seashells, skip rocks, stare at the wall. You know, they're hyperactive. This from the god who thinks a weak constitutes a long term relationship. <laughs> Zeus, Keep that steady hand, little the one, sick burn. And you might just survive. Um, I'm thinking that that Typhon is not taking us seriously, and you know that will be his downfall. I'll guarantee it. Oh, okay, pressing all the wrong buttons. I have a problem with that. You just, you switch between your PlayStation, Xbox, and your Nintendo Switch controller and your PC, and then you just press all the wrong buttons all the time. It's my life. But it's okay. Okay, activate. And what do we have? Um, all right, well, let's see what happens if we shoot you. You break into two pieces, and then, bada bing, bada boom. We needed exactly two pieces. And look what we got. What did we get? We got some platforms. Yes. And here we are. Another bolt of Zeus. Feel the power! And now we have two. Which is much better than one. It's at least twice as good as one. All right, and the vault is sealed. Armed with the agility of Achilles, the speed of Atalanta, the wits of Odysseus, and the strength of Heracles. Phoenix was ready to face whatever the future had in store. That's it? That's all she has going for her? Fa! Good luck! Completed a golden opportunity! I'm nearly at the Oracle. The desire to save her comrades and brother hardened Phoenix's resolve. Ah, too easy. So then, we're gonna follow our compass to, uh-oh. Well then, I'll just have to defeat you. Ooh. All right, Apollo's arrow it is, but not that one. Not that one either. We're gonna actually aim at you first. Yeah. It's gonna go great. Right in the heart! Harpy! Is that what you are? Harpy? Griffin? You're, no, you're not a griffin. Are you a griffin? What if I just walked right over to you, jumped in the air, and slashed? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Man, that's over the top. Okay, how exciting. We had our first little air battle. I like it. What's next? Gonna destroy this for no reason. Just to make me feel powerful. Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies. Zeus! Oh yeah. Perfect dodge at the perfect time. <laughs> Honestly, you all just are not equipped. You can't hang. You're just not good. It's just really sad to be a bad guy against me. I don't even really have to do anything, really. Just so long. 
And now, stranger. It's over. You can come out. No thanks. I'm good. There's nothing to worry about. If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. True that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha! It's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? And he's gone. My bracers! That rotten little thief! And... I saved you! He stole our bracers, which honestly is pretty offensive. Because we've just spent the first 20 minutes of this game trying to save him. So... I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. Zeus? No. You don't get the- oh, we don't have our bracers, so we can't push this. Okay, we need another solution then. Very well. We have the vault here. We have a door we can't go inside. But, uh, hey dude, what's up? Hmm, okay. Shoot arrows through a flame to ignite them and light other braziers. Oh, -ho. well then, no problem. We're gonna do just fine with this, I swear. Okay, we're on fire and into the brazier. And we were a little bit high there. So we're gonna aim better this time. Right into it. And we lit it! A success! And now... What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A oh. circus performer? A magician? <sighs> I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, <laughs> that's a real question. I don't know, it's a mystery. Well then, so how helpful. do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the Oracle. Oh yes, well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone, but the smoke here is something else. <laughs> Do you think sand is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? He's high! Uh... Have you seen that little Is that guy what that joke head? was? No. Because the smoke inside is something else? I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said to go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. He's inhaled a little too much smoke, it seems. And I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me. And all you can do is laugh! Whoa! Those are all true! Are you an oracle? Oh no. Not helpful. Not helpful, sir. Oh, oh, on your way out! Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! I think that is the joke oh, they were making. Mind is not father of your kin. A mountain, huh? round with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, go on the attack, and sooner than later, change them all back. 
A pair in rough seas, forge fires lit, a wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown, hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Whoa, now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird? How prophecy ends with I see, but in this case I don't? Stop! Well, on that Please. note, sir. You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No. Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So, we good? Not even remotely. Yeah, you don't just get I to say it's something that I do. Eh. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. They didn't like my... It's a very nice face, Phoenix. Don't listen <sighs> to him. We don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... Uh, don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. <laughs> That's still very okay, vague, sir. But about what you said earlier. And you're gone. Goodbye. Not helpful. Okay. Well, Not the least. Got to figure out how to get past that barrier. Well, I think now that I have my bracelets back, we are unlocked and we can just press it. And look at that, it's a thing of beauty. Down we go! Into the abyss. So pretty. The labyrinthine path before Phoenix seemed daunting. But the light of endless stars helped show the way. The light of endless stars, huh? Oh, you're not gonna be enough, are you? Well then, here. Have another! And there's our path. Activate you. I don't know where cargo goes to die. Okay, you're gonna need to go on the heavy one here. And... Dun, and you... Go on the light one. There we go. We are so good at this. Oh no. The second that I say that, I always get into trouble. Without fail. See. Oh boy, okay. We're just gonna dodge these. Yeah, if we could stun you, that would be pretty helpful. Oh! We dodged brilliantly! We're just gonna stun you. Off you go, sir! Goodbye! And now you. Can I just, like, push you off? Is that a thing I can do? Get in there, Phoenix! Little one, you've made it farther than most! Uh oh. That sounds concerning. Health? My health is already full. Do you know what that means? I combat well. 
It's almost like... It's almost like I've already played this game before. Or something. Aha! Take you! Oh! Where did you come from? Anyways, just put you right there. Don't you fall off, please, sir, because I need you. So, set you down gently. Thus. Okay, perfect. And then I'm thinking I'm probably going to need you. You were the one I was trying to. Ooh, a chest. Okay. How do I get there? <laughs> this feels bolder than you can handle, Brianna. I don't think I saw this on the... On the last playthrough. But we made it! Hmm. hmm. What shall we take? Helm of the new Olympian! A helm! Well then, we're gonna put one on! Ah! I love it. But we're gonna turn it off because I like her face quite a bit, actually. Alright, now here's the real question. Can we get back? Okay. Yes, yes, ooh, ooh, we almost fell right off, but we made it, and that's what counts. We made it, okay. Ah, yes, we're gonna need that box. Perfection! All right, so we're doing pretty well. We're kind of cruising through this game. I'm I'm loving it. I mean, I knew I was going to because I've already played it and I loved it then and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since then. But other than that. Okay. We got ourselves a rolly ball. And I'm guessing you put the rolly ball in the hole. In the hole. Great. And what did that get us? Okay, our first purple here. So now we need our second purple. Yep. Yep, just take you with me. Just come with me. Yep, just come with me. Did we do it? Where'd you get stuck? Okay. And then just come with me. Perfect. No, fall in there! No, 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 no. Okay, gently now. Perfect! We did it! And what awaits us? Oh, I know exactly what awaits us. Just gotta pause for a moment to catch our breath. Open the gate! As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help a much. huge monster appears! Thanks, Zeus. Appreciate it. It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. <laughs> no. Do mama must no! So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable Aww. monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus she would treasure forever. Deep within her vulnerable yet ever expanding. Oh. Oh, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. <laughs> Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. Okay, I am gonna dodge this. Expertly. Never mind. But I am 
gonna toss this at your face. Woof! Ooh, that hurt. All right, the throwing, we need a little bit of help on that. I wish we could do a little bit more damage. But first, we run. And at you. And then dodging. And then grabbing. And then throwing. And you're stunned. Almost down. Got him. I'm nearly Goodbye. there, little one. We have so much to talk about. Whoever or whatever you are, you don't scare me. Phoenix, she's so brave. What do we have here? Wait, when the thief said this was Aeolus's jar, I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind, that's impossible. Oh, Phoenix, you're always so confused. Although, if I was just dropped into a world like this, where gods were real, I think I'd be a little confused, too. I love this. This is so pretty. Gorgeous! And we did it! Completed yet another vault. <sighs> okay, obtain the wing piece by completing the observatory's constellation. So up to the observatory we must go. If Phoenix no looked at the top of the observatory tower, the planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what? <laughs> Never mind. As Phoenix continued her journey, she couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. I am getting so good at this. Gotcha. Okay, you're next, buddy. Gotcha. In the air, no problem. We're just... Bye! always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Okay, so here we have that doesn't surprise me. our Looks like all constellation the puzzle. To get to the missing wing piece. Because here the is our wings. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. <laughs> but I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night. Okay, that's a very typical Zeus story, honestly. 
Oh, did someone <laughs> wrong me? Oh, well then I will take intense vengeance and retribution that maybe isn't equivalent. That's Zeus. Okay, where do you go? You are gonna go right here. Perfection. Moving on. I wonder. If we just do a little exploring. Perhaps we'll be rewarded. I know there's a chest up here. She's so cute. I can't stand it. Valor of the Soldier Breastplate. Excellent. So this is part of a set. So if we, oh, so you can see here, the benefits are, um, if you have four pieces of the gear, it unlocks additional benefits. So that's different ways that you can upgrade your, um, or unlock additional stats for your equipment. Um, but you can also customize it to make it look like the other set that you have. So that's really cool. So we can be wearing the Valor of the Soldier breastplate and the Valor of the Soldier helm while it still looks like anything else. And uh, that means uh, we are hoping to unlock more of this set. And if we did that, we would get some, some additional perks and that would be pretty cool. And you need to go right here. Oh, okay. A coin! Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again, Icarus. And these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. Well then, <clears throat> the mission is ours. What? I didn't kill Icarus. Daedalus' faulty wings did that. And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out eventually. To the top. Of the observatory. <laughs> There's our stranger. I thought you said you were preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Then. Not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it! What is that?! You deceitful thing! You thought you could escape me?! You stole something from the thing?! I told you, it's a problem! Three delivery boy! You do not deserve the crown you were given. We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! No! <gasps> Open your wings! I can't! I have you now. You cannot hide forever! Okay, 
We need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus. Oh, I wins. am. The Daedalus, <clears throat> the great inventor. So? So they didn't work right and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. I don't know if I like those odds. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes! I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that... Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay stretched out before her. Wait! That was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? <laughs> Odysseus made it home faster. She's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. Okay, to the Hall of the Gods. <laughs> so fun. Valley of Eternal Spring. Um, how gorgeous is this region? <gasps> Take. Got ourselves some Olympian fig. I love it. Or anything else? So this region is gorgeous, but there are seven regions in on the Golden Isle, and I am so excited to explore them all. I have spent a little bit of time here in this one, but I haven't spent any time in any of the other ones, and I, I'm just really stoked to see what could be in store. Feeling if I defeat you, I'll just get the chest. Woohoo! Unlock the chest. Take. All right. Ooh, forbid forbidden Labrys. Okay, so we have ourselves a new axe. Let's see. This has plus 30% damage with axe combo while health is full. This says plus 40% damage for six seconds on a perfect parry. Now listen, I don't really parry. So I think we'll stick with this one, but it would be kind of cool to have an axe that looks a little bit different. I think this axe is gorgeous. So. We're gonna customize that. 
All right. Look at these beautiful deer. Suddenly, the majestic form of a wild creature caught Phoenix's eye. If Phoenix wanted to tame the beautiful beast, the mortal would have to befriend it first. Why are you whispering? Because I don't want to scare it away. What are you on? Because can I have some? Zeus, relax. I love you. Anemone! Our mount! Look how beautiful she is! Golden reins! Oh, I'm in heaven. This is my favorite part of the game. I just am so happy. I could just ride all day. My little friend Anemone. My mount. I'm so happy. This is the best part of anything. Watch. Take! I can take while mounted! I don't have to get off the mount to take it, take, take. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, best feature right there. I'm so happy. So happy I could cry. Just going through this beautiful landscape. But we will, I think, have to dismount. And glide to this. Yep. Destroy that. And where's our hall here? There-ish. Okay. Mm. So let's, I think, glide here. Oh, a bear. We're going to stay away from that for now. It's so fun to fly. Oh my goodness. This is just magical. Isn't it? Doesn't it just feel magical? It just feels fantastical and like a totally different world. It's so easy to get immersed into it. That's, that's I think, what I love so much about it. I mean, I love everything about it, but I especially love that. We made it. The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. It's all right. Could use some updating. The color motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was defeated. Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again! He vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay! And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld! Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn these life-false gods to dust! Come, Olympians! 
Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Go to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In a final, desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost... So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing. And now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Typhon? <laughs> Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. <sighs> this is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got. Seems <laughs> how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck. I'll be right here doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Hermes. Come Thanks. on. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. <laughs> Phoenix think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly, like when he bested the entire Spartan fleet. <sighs> Who am I kidding? I'm in way over my head. So here we've made it to the Hall of the Gods, which is the kind of safe hub. And we have lots ah, of things to do here. There's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. <laughs> Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. Yeah. Yikes, Hermes. The gods? They're not exactly nice or fair. All right. So it looks like... We don't have the option yet of upgrading. We need six and we have three. So we're waiting on that for a little bit. But what else do we have? Bench of Zeus! Get swole. This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. If only it were that simple. 
You're an inspiration. <laughs> I get that a lot. Let's see if we have what we need here. Nope, we need four. We have three. No upgrades to be had just yet. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman. An unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. So this is where we put our coins of Karen. And we get to upgrade our skills and activate new godly powers. That's pretty cool, very exciting. So here we haven't yet unlocked that. Complete the quest Bolt from the Blue to acquire this godly power. Okay, so Athena's dash we can acquire. Dash forward and strike all enemies in your path in a flurry of five hits. Deals up to 85 damage and 125 stun. That's pretty exciting. What else? We already have Heracles Strength, but we can also unlock a few bonuses for that. Let's see. This is Ares Wrath. Ares, God of War, I believe. Yes. Uh, okay, so upward thrust that launches smaller enemies into the air. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That looks neat. I love that a lot, actually. Apollo's arrows. This gives us the ability to control the speed. Don't feel like I need that yet. Not for eight coins. Here we have Hephaestus' hammer. Strikes the ground with a giant hammer that knocks back enemies and objects. That's so cool. Oh, we can only get one. I think I'm gonna go with Athena's dash. Ooh, okay, we're doing it. Okay, sweet. We have four more coins, and that means we've acquired all of the skills, the godly powers that we can. So over here we have skills. We also spend coins on skills, so we kind of have to balance what we really want and what we really need. So we here we have sword combos, sword air combos for air combat, love that. Axe combo, axe air combo, bow shots, which I love. Parries, okay, so you have the ability to acquire these for five coins. Glide, we already have. Oh, okay, so we could do a glide boost. Okay, or swimming. And we can upgrade by giving ourselves swim dash. That's useful. Gathering, we could collect all ingredients in a small range while gathering. Horse also automatically collects nearby ingredients. Acquire, call me convinced. Climb leap, we can also five dodges in a row, double jump, oh I love it, we already have that one. Okay, cool, so lots of great stuff. Lots of great stuff there, and this is my favorite. So we give our coins. Look how pretty this is. I love it. It's so cool. All right, what else do we have? Ah, yes. Oh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. And no further oh. explanation no needed. Than visiting the dentist. So this is where you can change your appearance at any time, which is great. But we love our Phoenix and we're gonna keep our Phoenix. What have we here, Hermes? Tell us all about it. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, Merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. 
I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Okay, Hermes. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever try to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Hermes Heroic Tasks Board unlocked. Any Electrum burning a hole in your pocket? Okay, so we can consult the tasks and we can accept them because we get different rewards for all of them. And most of them, you know, are simple little things like collect Ambrosia. We've already done three of that. So we just collect three more and we get to get additional rewards, which is pretty cool. And we can choose to track it too. Uh, so that it will show up on our compass. The cauldron. Nice cauldron! Phoenix let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence, and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. All right, so here is where we can upgrade our potions and craft our potions. So this one takes uh, five mushrooms, this one takes five pomegranates, and it's almost always gonna be a better idea to craft as many potions as you can because as we've seen, uh, the mushrooms don't give you a lot of stamina back in their raw form. So cooking always, you know, makes a difference. Okay, here is an attack potion. So we'll go ahead and craft that. Sure. Sure, let's craft the max. Craft the max of all of these. Craft max. Okay, and here is where we can spend our golden amber to give our potions additional benefits. So this increases health refill. That's pretty high value, I feel like. Uh, we could add stun to our attack potions. We could, ah, this'll be for defense, but we haven't made any of those yet. So for stamina potions, I think that's gonna be a really high value right now as we're exploring around a lot. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Cool. <sighs> Potent energy. Thumbs up. Yay. Oh, is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force, the Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Okay, this is our forge where we upgrade our weapons and spend the Aramantine shards that we've gotten from most of our chests. Okay, so here we have, we can quickly upgrade our sword, which would be great, but these upgrades are costly. You can see it costs 500 blue and we only have 850 blue, which kind of means that we could probably only do one upgrade of our choice. Um, we use our bow quite a bit. We can also hold more potions, which is kind of cool. We could upgrade to more arrows. I would say more damage for now. We can also take a look at the perks list and see exactly what you're buying with your upgrade, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we could only afford the one, but we use our bow quite a bit, so I'm happy with that. And I love that each station gets its own animation. It's pretty cool. She's so cute. So I just took a second to pause the game and save real quick. And uh, I noticed something kind of cool. You can log into your Ubisoft Connect account to get additional rewards, which uh, I don't have right now, but I definitely want to do that in the future. There's also the ability to get a season pass, which I've heard is really cool. And it unlocks like three new narrative based DLCs and a new world based on Chinese mythology. 
which is so cool. I would definitely be interested in checking that out because I, I see how well they do Greek mythology in this game and the ability to explore a new world based on some Eastern lore that I don't know as well seems just super cool and epic and I would totally do that. Uh, so yeah, Ubisoft Connect account and the season pass capabilities. I, I love that this game already and I'm just starting it feels bigger. <laughs> feels like I'm never going to run out of things to do, which is slightly intimidating, but also I'm really excited about it. Yep, this is gonna be the rest of my quarantine. <laughs> Bring it on. So what are we doing next? So when I did the preview event, I explored this area here that we're on right now, which is the region that is unique to Aphrodite. And I helped do the Aphrodite mission and I included a little bit of that gameplay, that quest in my preview video, which again, I'll link to it in the description and put a card in. Um, so that was really cool. The Valley of Eternal Spring. Yeah, that's what it's called. But I kind of want to explore any of these other seven areas. It is open world, so I can explore any of them. I don't... Okay, this is Athena. Oh, I really want to unlock Athena's area. What is this? King's Peak. What is this? The Forge Land. So that's Hephaestus. Okay, cool. This is, I'm guessing... Ares, God of War, Jaws of War, ooh, that's so tough. Okay, this is the area that we were just in, which felt huge to me, and look at all the stuff that we didn't do, all the chests we didn't open, the ambrosia we didn't get, and uh, that just means there's, there's so much more to do. Oh my gosh, I just wanna do everything. Oh, okay, uh, uh, Ares, Athena, let's go Athena, let's do Athena. There's, her symbol is the owl. Look how cute is that? Okay, let's track that quest. Okay, to Athena's region. This way. Okay, it looks like, let's use our far sight here. Yep, that's where we're going. Let's just go. Let's just glide. Let's just see how far we can get on the stamina that we have. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of concerned. We do have stamina potions though, which is great. So we'll go ahead and take one, but I don't wanna take all of them. Okay. Oh, that completely filled us up. That upgrade is perfect then. Wow, we did great. We're getting pretty far here. All right. I think now would be a good time to kind of drop. <laughs> Glide. And then let's do this gradual dropping. Perfect. Okay, and now summon the mount. Look how cool that animation is! Oh, I just die. Alright, Anemone, I think this is where I leave you officially. I don't know if I have enough blue mushrooms to make this. Oh, wise Athena. As tremendous as in all the stories. I hope you don't mind that I'm scaling your mighty ages. Her shield-like ages celebrated Athena's dominance in strategic matters of war. It's my ages, you know. So it's also a symbol of Athena's love for Papa Zeus. If you say so. We are so close here. Yes, okay. So we'll recoup our stamina. Oof, this is gonna be a tough climb. Let's see how far we can get up here. We're doing okay, actually, so far. But that's because we're being very careful Athena's about where we're climbing to. Inspired the Greeks to create beautiful clothing and tapestry. She should have inspired them to create an elevator. Clever as always, Zeus. Clever as always. I also like that they have grass growing where you know you're gonna be able to climb. All right, that's all of our mushrooms. And of course, your owl. It's a pleasure. Phoenix Ooh. knew the owl represented the wisdom of Athena. What? Wisdom she shared with mortal heroes on their quests. Seems like a waste of good wisdom. Now, I see an ambrosia up there, but I really don't want to fall. 
So we're just gonna climb here for now. Oh, excuse me, Athena. Pardon me. I'm just gonna climb up your face here. Oh my gosh. These carved horses totally remind me of when I was in a museum in Greece and I saw their wall mural and it had horses on it. And it was so detailed. It was carved from marble. It was so detailed. It had veins in the horse's legs. St stunning doesn't even quite cut it. So beautiful. Um. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to climb up the front. See if I can climb up this side. We're almost there. <gasps> we made it. This land was bathed in Athena's wisdom, filled with temples dedicated to her skill and judgment. Sites of ancient mystery and dangers untold. Nice. What's the rent like in this neighborhood? Very funny, Zeus. I feel like he's dad joke central. All right, we've ascended the goddess of wisdom, Athena. Phoenix beheld a magnificent structure, the archives. A place to study the heroics and strategies of past glories. Ah, that will be where Athena is then. She's got my tactical mind, you know. But you love all your children equally, of course. Ha! <laughs> Good one! He certainly does not. <gasps> we did it! We unlocked Athena's region! The Grove of Cleos. And now we can fast travel here. So exciting. Okay. So below the statue of Athena, this landscape was dotted with temples and archives devoted to strategy and wisdom. Also monsters. In a couple years, this whole neighborhood will be chain coffee shops. Sigh. Wow, this is beautiful. Phoenix walked through the archives. Crumbled statues of fallen heroes underfoot. Because why wouldn't you just walk through a creepy, half-destroyed temple? Phoenix is a hero, Zeus. For hero is what they call a mortal who dies. That's valid. Hello? Feel like. Is someone there? Come out and face me! I don't want to come out! Deep. Except I just did. Why did I listen to you? A child? I'm not a child! I'm Athena! Athena? Oh! Oh! The goddess of wisdom! The prophecy! A wise child convinced! That's making a lot more sense now! Oh, wow! You have no idea how much I've wanted to meet you! But, uh, why are you so small? And angry? You'd be angry, too, if Typhon shrank you, then sent a Hydra after you. I heard your footsteps and thought you were his snaky-faced jerk. Well, I'm not a Hydra, but I am a huge fan of yours. Gods, I have so much I want to ask you. Did you really beat up Ares in the Trojan War? What? Oh, sure. Twice. Wow! And were you really the judge during the trial Look, of- Sorry, what was your name? I'm Phoenix. I can't believe I'm meeting the real Athena, even if she is a little go uh, little goddess. She's fangirling. What do you I get it. to call me little girl? I was, yes. Oh, at least she's honest. That would have gone badly. I get that. Okay. 
So I'm willing to accept that you're not a Hydra. But that means there's still a super fierce Hydra out there after me. Where did Typhon hide your essence? If you were restored, that Hydra wouldn't stand a chance. And we'd be one step closer to turning everyone back from stone. That's it! That's the first step! The champion volunteers, brave of heart and questionable of fashion. Wait, what? <laughs> I've been waiting for you! Only the mortal champion can walk the path of the heroes to free Kronos' staff of time! Staff of time? Yes! It contains the power of the god of time. With it, we'll be able to defeat Typhon and reverse the flow of time to cancel the stone curse. Without the staff, we're lost. Oh, wow. You have a plan to get it? Kronos lost it in the river of time. It will only appear to the true champion who walks the path. The next step is to kill the Hydra. I could help with that. I've done weirder things on this island. <laughs> okay, great. That's all settled. You be my champion and go kill that super scary Hydra. Wow, that happened fast. A minute ago, you tried to crush me with a statue. Yeah, but that's how fate works, champion. Step one to championing is go get that Hydra. Okay, bye. That's deep. Is there any further wisdom that I okay, should- Okay, bye! <laughs> Thanks, Athena, goddess of wisdom. You have to go and walk the path. It's fate and stuff. How clever of Athena to think of the staff of Cronus. She's always on the ball, that one. I didn't know you were familiar with it. Of course. Usually, she'd ask my advice, but I was away at the time. What a loss. Fun fact, Athena is whom the city of Athens is named after. Chest. Well, we have to get that too. Oh my gosh. These open world games are so hard because all I want to do is everything. At the falls, Phoenix beheld the fearsome stone heads of the Hydra. Fanged faces straight out of a nightmare. You should see Hera when she's mad. Oh, Zeus. Well, this one's not lit up. Did I hit you? Then go where? I'm like intrigued. What am I supposed to be doing here? Where am I supposed to be going? Let's try again. Through you, through you. But not through- yes, through you! Okay! And then maybe through you. And into the brazier. Oh! And I got coins of Kirin for it! Okay! Cool! The first one was lit up, so I was thinking the rest of them would have to be lit up too, but they don't. Okay, and we did some of, uh, looks like Hermes' tasks, too. I will make you perfect. You will suffer, but it will be worth it. No, thank you. Appreciate it if we didn't do that. Please. Okay. Well, great. Let's fight this Hydra. Let's see what we got in store for us. Where was that ledge? There you are. Yeah. 
We got some pomegranates here. <laughs> you know what that means. We're gonna need them. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna save. In we go. This looks like a vault. I've never dropped into a vault that wasn't a vault. So now I'm wondering, is this gonna be... Uh, it, okay, it looks like a vault. Maybe this is a vault. This is not. Oh, entering the serpentine monster. Okay, maybe this is a Hydra. Oh, I don't know what I'm in for. Is 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 three like the difficulty? Oh, no. All right. We're all healed up. I wish we had some more potions, but we're in it now. Just the one room then. Ooh. Pick on someone your own side, you monster! Well, that was a terrible shot. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stay out of that then. I'm gonna stay out of that too. All right, well, this is not good, but let's try a dash. Another dash. Let's lock on. Nice. Okay, he's stunned. No problem. All right. I don't really know if that did anything. So let's take you on. Yeah, you hang out in the pitch there. Oh, I wonder if I could do this right. Oh, okay. Oh, the pitch is gone. Okay, well. At least I got out of the way of that. All right. Aha! You're not quite in it, but it was a good effort. Oof. Oh, we can use an attack potion and a defense potion. Let's try it. I am doing damage to it. Okay. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Okay, dodging. Okay, now we got poison and monsters. Okay, we gotta do both at once then. All right, no problem. Harry would be good here. I feel so tiny next to these guys. They're so big. They're so monstrous. All right, what if instead of focusing on you entirely, yeah. 
I did kind of both at the same time here. This is really challenging. All right, you're doing your thing. Where'd the other guy go? Can I jump up and attack you? Yes, I can. Can't do that though. Okay, poison. Nice. Okay, great. Bring on whatever is next, I guess. Okay, some monsters. Okay, we're gonna want an attack up. Okay, started with you. Woof. Okay, one more Hydra down. How many times do we have to do this? Okay. Oh yeah, that happens. Okay. That's the acid. No, don't fall down. Oh no. No. I'm devastated. I have to start all over again. All my potions are back, but I have to start all over again. I mean, I I get it now, but oh no. Hopefully it's not going to take as long. All right, so those friends are eliminated now. Your baddies are kind of more distractions than anything else. I really can't fall down again, though. Dodging instead of jumping for everything is going to be great. Almost down. Nice. Okay, let's heal up a little bit. Okay, we're getting there. 
I hope this is the last phase. Start on you. Okay, let's use our defense potion. Now's a good time. Don't you dare fall off again, Brianna. Oh my god, I would be so mad at myself. Oh, I still got that. Ooh, we gotta get better at managing this. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh boy, that's no good, that's no good. Oh boy, I don't have anything. We are so close. Nice. Okay. Okay. We don't have any more health. This is down to the wire. Oh, boy. I gotta watch out for that. Get stunned. Get stunned. Come on. No, don't you die. Don't you die anymore. Oh, God. Come on. Hit your shots. Yes. Please don't be another face. Oh, my gosh. I was so focused. Oh, so I did not think I was going to make that. Hydra fell to Phoenix. <sighs> a triumph on par with the feats of heroes. Wow, Athena wasn't kidding. That was a snaky faced jerk. Oh my gosh. I need so much health after that, but I don't think I can go back. <laughs> now, please. <laughs> For the love of the gods, do not let me fall. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was kind of quite peaceful actually after that battle. Wow. I didn't think I was going to make that. Could I have done that battle better? Sure. Could I have gone in with more potions? Sure. But did I? No. And I earned this bolt of Zeus. <sighs> How thrilling. <sighs> Zeus's yes. lightning. We got four. Perfect. All right, and we emerge successful victors of Defeaters of Hydra. I'm pleased. And I think that's where we're going to end today's playthrough. I had an absolute blast with that playthrough. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Man, this game, I am so addicted already. I wanna take all the takes, upgrade all of the weapons and the 
the potions and I mean everything. I want to unlock every skill. I want to explore every region. It's, it's such an amazing, super fun game. And I can't wait to see what else is next. I mean, this was only the first like two and a half, three hours. And I, I feel like the time went by in a complete blink. It was so, it was so, so much fun. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, this is a first playthrough and anytime I do a first playthrough of something, I never really know how the audience is gonna take it. I think you're gonna like it. Uh, it's similar to a lot of the other games that we've played and it's just so fun. I mean, how could you not love it? So just let me know, have a conversation with me. I still read every single comment that gets put on my channel, every single one. So. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you like it, do you want to see more of this playthrough? Uh, there will be more The Last of Us Part 2 coming soon. There will be more Final Fantasy VII Remake coming soon as well. Um, just uh, having so much fun creating content these days. So thank you for hanging around with me. Thanks for watching. Uh, please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, Please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. And once again, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. I love this game and I'm definitely gonna continue playing it and I'm gonna have a blast with it. So it's an absolute honor to be able to create content around this game um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, please remember Rebels to support those who support the channel and click the link in the description below to learn more about this game. It is launched on December 3rd. It is available for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo Switch. So you're going to be able to play it however you like to play your games. That's all. I love you all. Bye!